All right, you guys, today what we are gonna talk about is equality versus fairness. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so what I wanna talk about today is a touchy subject for a lot of you. Not all of you, but not even a lot of you, some of you. All right, so I wanna talk about actual equality and fairness between these tool tests. All right, so what we're gonna, like a versus video coming up, so please subscribe to the channel. We are gonna use a five amp hour battery on the Flex and a four amp hour battery on the Ryobi. So if you don't like it, deal with it. All right, so as you guys know, I read every comment and I respond to them. Just for the past couple of days, I've just been getting so many comments, I actually can't give a real response. I read the comment and I say, thank, I thank you so much for viewing, because uh, I've just been getting so many comments lately. All right, so for those of you who are saying that these tests are completely unfair, let me open up your eyes. All right, imagine this. Imagine if you're, you're a race car driver, you have the fastest car that's presently on the track, and then someone comes up to you and be like, hey, could you not drive so fast so the competition has a little better of a chance? You're going to tell that guy to F off. You're going to be like, heck no. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, like these tests are, these tests are becoming too equal because too many people are complaining that their favorite tool brand lost. This is actually a perfect example. All right. So let, so, all right. So here's a Milwaukee. All right. So this, uh, this company put millions into developing their products and make the tool you already have in your hand better without having to buy a new tool. And you, the, the product that you're about to buy, you're going to use over and over and over again on a, across many other tools. All right. So this company developed this drill the way they wanted to. All right. So they, they made very good batteries for it and many amp hours. All right. And so, and they paid a lot of money to do that. All right, then, then I love both of you. I love all brands of tools. So like for those of you who are new to my channel, I love all brands because not a single brand of tools has the, uh, the best tool in every category. Each has their own separate, uh, their own sp special tool that beats all the others. All right, so for the, for the Makita, they didn't develop uh, extra stuff to make their tools that you already have in, have in your hand better. All right, so when it comes to batteries, uh, Makita has six, five, four, three, and two. And I think they also have a 1.5. All right, so, but how, I leave, please leave it in the comments. Let me know how fair is it if we use a six amp hour high output battery on here and a regular six amp hour battery here. 21700 cell battery, 18650 cell battery. Is it Milwaukee's fault? that Makita didn't make a uh, 21700 cell battery? It is not. Which tool are we saying unfair to? Is it unfair to the Milwaukee that they get to actually uh, get restricted and handicapped to suit this company for not making 21700 cell batteries? So that doesn't seem fair to the Milwaukee because they have those products and people get mad in these tests when people use them you know, especially against the 18650 cell. There's a difference between equality and fairness. All right, so it's not fair to, it, it is not fair to restrict tools from doing their best. This has nothing to do with flex. This, is nothing, this, is do, this has to do with the comments. All right, the comments are driving me crazy on how many people are saying that these tests are unfair particularly when it comes to the DeWalt power detect using speed two and not three. The flex has a speed three. It's the turbo button. It, but people weren't upset when I used, uh, when I didn't use speed three on this. Once you hit, once you hit that button, it goes into speed three. The RPMs go up. Everything goes up a little bit. Now I only go crazy if you do a completely out of the line unfair test. Let's say I use a uh, 12 amp hour battery on here and I use a three amp battery on here and this is an actual declaring a winner scenario, which one's the better tool? And that is what I consider unfair. 
And the reason why that is unfair, because the Ryobi did spend the money to make better batteries, which they have a 9 amp hour battery. So that would stand more of a chance against the 12 amp hour battery. When it comes to these tests, the unfairness and equality, it's getting too separate. It's getting way too separate. So I, I'm done 100% with the comments saying that it's not fair. There's a difference between fair and equal. If I do this, I'm still gonna use a high output battery. And so yeah, so it's not fair to the company that put all the millions of dollars developing all the stuff to make the tool better without making you buy a new tool. It's not fair. I hope you guys uh I hope you guys liked my little rant. You know, I'm just tired of people being butthurt about this stuff. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.